Hey guys, do you want to tell us where we're going today? We're going to downtown Ford to pick up our Bronco and look at all the other Ford cars and any exotic cars. Richard's getting a new car today to match my nails, so we're on point. Let's go. Getting the full tour here. Going up. I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm like, oh, are these Lincolns? I have literally no idea. I mean, it's cool. The floors are nice. There's nice places to sit. There's a makeshift cafe. Cafe. Sure. <laughs> well, I mean, how much is this one? Like, this is a giant, giant vehicle. Cha-ching. Like, ooh. Swanky. Oh, yeah, Carbe. Um, this just looks like you think you're fancy getting an Uber Black. <laughs> this is like three times. Three times that. Wow. Yeah, this is like, is this like the top of the top? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Okay, don't tell anyone, but something like this, you'd have to have a family. It's a reason to have a family. <laughs> no, but, but kind of. Why is it more comfortable? Ta -da! Oh man. She's sweet. It's an adventure car. Looks good. Nail check. Going in with the crew. It's nice. It's very nice. It's roomy back there. Oh, it's comfy. So what do you think? I love it. And here we have the white version. And one model down, the Escape. I like the green one though. I have cool friends. I got my own key. I have the best friends. Stopping at Animal Liberation Kitchen. <sighs> Sandwiches. <laughs> the food. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. Look at all this goodness. Oh. Okay, well, the mic got misplaced. So, um, yeah, just enjoying the new Bronco. It's gray on the inside. You got the navigation. Uh, lots of room. Yeah. It's really sweet. <laughs> Can't wait to try. But anyways, we're going to the RV show, the camping show up at International Center. We made it back to the International Center. Good memories. Tony Robbins, Taboo Show. Man, gotta make it out to Sagamore. Can't believe I just said that. <laughs> but yeah, we're just saying we have not seen the parking lot this full like ever. So it must be catching on like camping that lifestyle the cottage lifestyle i wonder if we're gonna see any famous youtubers here i don't know any so comment below if you know some some cool rugged off-grid youtubers and yeah let's go check out the show all right we made it in on a medium pass so fast and uh i can kind of see like i was getting excited before even coming in here and i can kind of see why i mean camping is freedom RVing is freedom being out on the open water on a sea do lake and it's packed there's a bunch of toys and RVs <laughs> and like cottage demos this was cool oh So are we, wait, are we looking at the Build-A-Homes? Ah, these are like, how would you explain it? Like the ship, I hate calling it the shipping container homes. Buy this, but you need to buy the land, get the permits, get the septic, get the wells. So it comes out to about 300,000, even with this. Oh God, though, they're pretty swanky. But it's really big. It's big, it's modern. I saw all about this at the, uh, the Realtor Investment Expo. Bedroom. 
small, but it works bigger than a condo. Mm. Yeah, come walk with me and check out the patio. Like these, these homes are getting a lot of buzz for a reason. Like, honestly, if you're not hung up about having an actual like brick home, these are nice. Oh, shut the front door. Now that is a kayak, my friend. My friends, mom, <laughs> I know you like your kayak. Does that look comfy or what? Wait, it has a, a little motor? Yeah. Wow. Cool, very cool. This is the outside of the home that we were just in. Let's check out our first RV. Okay, it's not a condo, but. I mean, not really my style. I like, I like the, uh, the fold, -a, fold -a house. <laughs> but hey, if someone wants to go on an adventure, I have fantasized about like just camming from this kind of situation. And there's lots of lighting. The lighting is key, I think. Okay, it's kind of cute. <laughs> hmm, could you do an RV for a week? Do you think, uh, would you love it? Would you hate it? Do you think it'd be worth the adventure? Comment below if you're into camping. Where are the best camping spots in Ontario? Let's keep evolving on Evolve Travel. This one's peaking my eye because it has, ooh, okay, more lounge space and uh, more, more of an actual bed. Okay, I'm kind of, this is, um, this is cute. This one feels less like you're living in an RV and just more like luxury. Oh, oh, oh. I think this one lifts up and becomes a table. Yeah. Or becomes a bed. Oh yeah, you can make it. That's the idea of, I guess, of yeah. RVs, like all the secret storage. Yeah, and the and versatility. I think you just take off this pillow. It, become, it becomes a table. Oh yeah, if you want more room. Versatile. Not night a bed. Mm -hmm. So, tell me, these are three D printed, aren't they? Yeah, they're pretty pricey. Like for the, what you're paying for. You could get a log home for the same amount of money, like a 2,000 square foot log home. Hmm. So you're paying for the campsite or the resort site. Uh, hmm. I just entered to win this car for my dad. <laughs> Hopefully. Nice Trans Am. Mm, okay. The, the Bronco needs a friend. Needs a buddy. <laughs> yes, and although it is packed, I mean, I might win a Trans Am here. So there's always contests at the expos and always new things to see. So far, a lot of the expo is like just a lot of camping areas and resorts that you can like, I guess, book out. Resort, resort, resort. Yeah. Or, you know, you can just find a forest. would have to kind of make your stand out in a sea of RVs. This one you were kind of thinking of? Yeah, the same price as the uh, Navigator. Ooh, Navigator. Ah. Oh, yes. Yeah, this, it's, hmm. This becomes a bed right here. Oh, wow, neat. Yeah, ah, this one. Ah, stove top. Mm-hmm. Fridge, full size fridge. Wow. Wow. With an indoor shower, that that is key. What do you think, guys? Would you want to see me camming from an RV? I mean, a home is a home. Yeah. I don't know. There's something I just can't put my finger on right now. It's like it's missing something, or it, I guess we're just not used to it. Uh, 
It is missing so something. Yeah, definitely feels like what it is. Feels like an RV because it is. So that's, you're looking at 200 bad ones. <laughs> it is. This is one of the bigger ones, which actually a friend of mine actually had one at one point. Bit of a lineup to get in. I'm just gonna go in. Living the rock star life. I mean, it's okay. Ah, uh, so we got the bigger, badder ones hiding in the back here. But still, the most expensive we've seen so far is about 300 thou. That's, that's the one where you actually come down and... Yes. Like there, that's a little yes. more rock star. Fancy. Let's check it out. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. This is more like it. Behold. Honda on wheels. To flex your curiosity. Yeah, so you can buy it and rent it out. That's not bad. I always kind of dug these ones that really, really look like a spaceship. Holy smokes. Jeez. Big enough? Wow. Oh, geez. A million bucks. Woo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. She's a beaut. All right, seeing some cool ones, but there's too many people to film on the nice green one, so I might go back to that. But honestly, okay, here's how I look at it. If, uh, okay, not only if you like camping, but if you just are saying, screw it to society and want to just do your own thing, put a Starlink, in your RV, I don't know. It could work. It could work for like under a hundred thousand. I don't know, but I am gonna show you. I'm switching gears, I am gonna show you uh, the video of the inside of the giant one. There you go. There you go. Oh, see, that's livable. <laughs> Gosh. Anyways, you get the idea. Switching gears again. These ones are more like 50,000. Good little starter RV home, I guess. It's public. Peaking. Ah. <laughs> ah, the bougie mom. Wait, you sleep here? Uh, that's how it is. Another look. Ah, okay, we got this one to ourselves. Ah, apparently you got the bed that comes down. More room, more of a kitchen. I mean, not like I'm in the market for one, but this is actually pretty nice too. It's the kitchen space for me in this one. I guess it's actually good if you just want to like, if you camp right by the lake, it's, it's yours to discover. You can go literally wherever you want, which is a problem that I actually kind of wanted to. Uh, like, Okay, so as you can see from how packed it is, I think it's something everyone wants to try at least once is camping in an RV. Just roughing it a little bit 
lamping. I would definitely do it. I would, I would do it for at least one video, if not like try it a few times. Uh, Richard says they're selling you the dream here and then you buy one 10 years later. This one's cute, simple, uh, just a table and a bed. And it can be pulled by, oh, a Tesla. Yeah, this is, okay, so you got like your glamping tent. You have a mattress. And this one's only 22,000. So I guess if you're like obsessed <laughs> with road trips or something, or hey, I mean, okay, let's be realistic. That is one year rent only. So like, yeah. Yeah. It's already two o'clock. I'm sitting for a minute. <sighs> cool. I mean, it's not what I expected, but I'm still glad we came. Cruise Society, I live in an RV. That's the, I probably shouldn't say that too much or I'll believe it's true and just do it. Okay, this one has stairs inside like a loft. This is, they put the home in mobile home here. Pretty cool. Beds, beds. Well, we did find a many, many, many RVs and hummus. <laughs> I mean, these are cool, but we've been walking for like three hours. All right, well, wrapping up for today, we're so done. So, um, that was interesting, mostly. Cool to see the RVs, actually. Actually, really, and the different price points and just how many people are actually interested in the idea of camping, the, the idea of like RVing, of being free. So sweet sweet freedom it's only a dream away bye